morning everyone. It is a little after 10 and I have this guy and this guy on our old stomping grounds, the forest loop. Yeah, she was picking up pine cones that are covered in sap. Are you gonna poo? Cause we're not to the bags yet. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to you real quick before we cross the street. He's got a vet appointment. I have already walked him once today, but we're gonna take a quick walk so he's good and tired. Tomorrow he gets groomed. Let's try and get some sanitizer. See if that helps, but sap doesn't like to come off. Anyway, well, we're gonna go do a quick walk. Hello everyone, I just got my phone back from Sebastian who was playing with it. That was quite a wait because it turns out last time when my husband brought him, he tried to bite the male vet when he was examining him, like he like snapped. So this, we didn't know that he had that same vet. I didn't even remember that because I wasn't there, but oh, step over buddy. And this really tall male vet comes into the room and he just loses his mind barking like scared barking backing away so we had to wait until a female vet was available like another half an hour and oh okay we'll get a new one so where did you find that one I feel like right in the beginning, right? Yeah. So we'll just go to the beginning. He dropped his acorn. So yeah, all the female techs, the female doctor, no problem. She's actually an Aussie owner. She called it a wiggle butt owner. And yeah, he had no problems. They did still muzzle him or have me muzzle him, which is not a problem. He's used to his face harness. Just as a precaution, she's like, you don't want to bite on his record. And I'm like, no, I definitely don't. Um, so yeah, we made it through. I do have to bring him back in three weeks for one more shot, but yeah, until tomorrow when he goes to the groomers.
but it's hurting. I still have my allergies, so my eyes are so itchy, and my mouth is itchy, and my tongue is swollen, but the cold is coming in. I cannot avoid the sickness when both kids are sick. And I sat next to Jax for a couple hours as he just snotted nonstop it's me eating and coughing. But I promised him I would sit with him. Everything is achy. But the sore throat is always a sign that it's winning. I've started my zinc. If it can keep me from being snotty, then that's a win. I don't really feel like talking. It's nine after dinner of sushi, which Sebastian's been begging for. I finally got to start the kit that Cass gave me for my birthday. Thank you, Cass. Unfortunately, the pieces that I'm putting together are so wonky and it's probably drying so crooked. Like, I was having to fill in cracks at the counter because the counter is the wrong size and like things are just cut a little off. And the way they're having me construct this arched window has absolutely no support. <laughs> So already feeling exhausted and achy and my throat hurting. Just not in a good place right now. I already hate that I'm not homeschooling and now all of the germs are coming just like I predicted and I'm just gonna be fucking sick for the rest of my fucking life. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow because I just don't want to talk. So good night. Stay safe. Be kind. Don't forget. Wash your hands.